What's going on YouTube? Mr. All Star HD here again and today I'm bringing you guys another video. Today's video we're going to be discussing the pros and cons of relationships. Now this can range from a variety of different relationships uh, mainly being high school and college or high school and beyond basically. Uh, I don't really worry about the little middle school relationships and the high and the uh, elementary school relationships. Those are completely different ones, you know. I can't really talk about those ones. Those are those are for the youngsters. But for this, we are going to be talking like I said, mainly high school and there afterwards for uh, beyond high school such as college and after college when you actually hit into the complete real world when you're all by yourself out of school everything so let's get started so the first pro that I'm gonna come up with that I came up with is you have somebody that you can live together with so typically in high school you don't really live with each other I mean you can once you're like 18 you could probably move in if you both have a full-time job I guess if that's really what you want to do and the con to that though is you're gonna have to pay bills so obviously if you're getting a house together you can both share the bills but you both are gonna have to pay bills and it'd be just much easier if you lived with your parents and such and if you don't have that opportunity then I guess it's okay to you know share the bills and live together but I would much rather live with my parents and mooch off them as much as I could. Uh, the second pro is you obtain a new best friend once you get into a relationship. You are committing yourself to a relationship, meaning that this will become your best friend. Now note that I am taking these pros and cons into consideration as of a healthy relationship, not something that every relationship, relationship should have and is going to have. So, like I said, you are going to obtain a new best friend. But the thing is, once you obtain a new best friend, you're also going to lose free time for yourself. So, being single, you will have a lot, a lot, a lot of free time, okay? Let me, let me get this clear to you, okay? I'm not saying that girls will run your life or anything, but a lot of guys, if you are in love, and a lot of girls, if you are in love, you will want to spend time with your consider or considerable amount of time with your loved one and that's perfectly fine I'm just stating that your free time will decrease and you'll see yourself slowly stop hanging out with your friends slowly um, I'm not saying that you're just gonna eliminate having friends and that girls and boys are you know relationships are bad because they're not I'm just stating that you will lose your free time uh, a pro they are fun to have they are very fun to have like I said, you obtain a new best friend, you get so many new memories, you have so many new experiences that you couldn't have if you were single. And that's another pro in itself, but the con to it being fun is they're hard to maintain. It's like having a dog or any animal for that matter. They're fun to have and you love having them, but they are very hard to take care of. Uh, relationships can get out of whack, things can happen, somebody can... can take more control of the other you know just bad things can happen if they aren't maintained and that's the thing is you have to maintain them and the the con is it's so incredibly hard to maintain like I said you're gonna have loss of free time because again you're gonna have to maintain the relationship so there goes some of your free time that you had you know you're gonna be arguing and things like that it's bound to happen there's no perfect couple that has not argued once that is you know good for each other basically and it's a healthy relationship next is that you can be yourself when you are with your loved one which is so nice you know a lot of kids I'm not really one I what you see is what you get uh, I'm a douche but I'm a funny douche so it kind of makes up for it um, but no uh, you can be yourself around your loved one, which is really nice. A lot of people can't do that, and especially kids that go to school. They try to be somebody that they really aren't, and they need to accept the person that they are and fall in love with the person that they are because that's that's the way they were made. And it's so it's it's sad to see that kids don't do that. But you know, I I can't really say it because I've I, some kids don't have that many friends, and I've 
had a decent amount of friends all throughout my life and it's it's been it's been it's been a journey but uh other than it being fun or other than being yourself it can cause arguments because when you're yourself you're used there's gonna be something that the other person doesn't like for me example my girlfriend doesn't like that I'm very stubborn and that I only like to really if I think it's a bad idea I'm kind of a dick about it okay and I don't even always intentionally try to be I really I really try not to be but if I don't think it's a good idea I'm a douche about it and I need to work on that myself but that right there is me being myself and it causes arguments now if it's something that's negative that while you're being yourself like you're depressed or something and that's you say that is quote unquote being yourself then that can be worked on within your relationship which is another pro itself so just remember that they can cause arguments when you are being yourself because not everybody's going to agree with you even your loved one is going to not always agree with you and it's it like I said it revert back to hard to maintain and loss of free time so if you're gonna commit to a relationship you gotta commit to it hard and be able to give up all those things so another big one is since it's since it's getting a little festive in here, you know, I got my new red chair that I just got for for some for some gaming. We're we're gonna in in that uh, Thanksgiving's come up, and then it's gonna be Christmas here soon. The one thing that you get to do is you get to enjoy holidays with your loved one, and it's really nice. It's so nice to be around people that love you and experience that when you are you know handing out gifts or you're over eating food at each other's houses for Thanksgiving it's so nice to be able to experience that and we take a lot of that for granted because a lot of us you know we we do have that and a lot of people don't have that and that that sucks you know uh, I've been in that case a few times and it's it just despite having or not necessarily having a girlfriend but just having anybody there period to celebrate the holidays with there's times where I was all alone in the house by myself on Christmas Day and it it, it was it was it was kind of kind of shitty man uh, I understand where people come from now here's the downside to celebrating holidays with a loved one you have to open up that wallet and open uh, up your bank account and see if your wallet can withstand having a girlfriend or a boyfriend because let me tell you relationships are not cheap either okay a lot of people will be like well I don't have to buy my boyfriend a girlfriend this or that they just take me for who I am I understand that but if you want a good healthy relationship I think it is perfectly fine with spending money on each other such as from uh, for an example me getting my girlfriend Christmas presents you know uh, that's that's okay or her buying me shoes for my birthday or something that's okay I don't mean constantly purchasing each other gifts now that that can get a little overboard now a surprise here every once in a while that is perfectly fine I agree with that as well but when we are just purchasing just to purchase things or we're buying somebody's love that is not the best thing to happen and like I said it's more gifts to buy meaning you're gonna have to work more to get more money which means you can cause arguments there because you're working too much and you're trying to be yourself because you're trying to be nice and buy presents and that's making the relationship hard to maintain and while all this is going on you're losing all your free time so just remember if you are gonna get in a relationship there are pros to the cons and there's cons to the pros okay and relationships are not bad in any way shape or form I am not dissing my own relationship because I am happily together with my girlfriend that I've been with for over a year now I love her very much and I am very happy with what I have right now and there is I don't feel any of these in any way shape or form I am perfectly content I'm just giving you some ideas to how things can be but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and just remember what I said if you want to get in a relationship. If you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, my dudes.